Let's tackle the question you see on the screen. What is the average number of common shares outstanding for a company whose earnings per share is $1.25 and whose earnings available to shareholders is $10 million? Okay, well, you see the formula right below the question, right? Earnings per share is equal to earnings or net income, right? Both mean the same thing, divided by average common shares outstanding. Now, sometimes we just see this as common shares outstanding, not average. And given uh, the information, we can solve this one. So let's slide down. Now, what we know is earnings or net income is not given. That's an unknown. Earnings are equal to $10 million. And earnings per share is $1.25 per share. This really should have a dollar sign in front of it. Okay, so let's work through how we would solve this. I'll slide up so that we can see this a little bit better. All right, so we know that the formula is earnings per share equals earnings divided by shares, right? So income divided by shares. So they gave us $1.25 as the earnings per share. And we know the earnings were $10, but we have to solve for X. So just using algebra, we go through the motions. First, multiply both sides by X. Let me slide up so we can follow this some more. If we multiply both sides by X, we get on the left side, $1.25 times X equals the 10 million divided by X times X. Now, when we have an X in the numerator and, a de and the denominator, the X's cross out and become one. So what we're left with is $1.25X equals 10 million. Now from there, we just divide both sides by $1.25. And when we, when we do that, we're left with X equals 10 million divided by $1.25. And now we can solve for X, so I'll slide up again. And we see that 10 million divided by $1.25 is 8 million and the answer comes out in shares. Okay, so that's how you solve this one.